All right, we're going to work on rounding rules. As you work problems in chemistry, you're going to need to round your answers to a certain number of sig figs based on the problem. Here's how you decide how many sig figs to round to. Um, the only thing we're going to look at in this video is what happens when I am multiplying or dividing numbers. And this is most commonly the way that we will have uh, the way that we'll work problems. As an example, the area of the room is calculated to the length times the width. So if I'm told the length and the width of my room, I can punch those numbers into my calculator, and my calculator will display the answer, the area of the room. If I punch these numbers in the calculator, it will display 105.1674 as the answer. Now, I wouldn't present all those digits as my answer. I would round to the appropriate number of sig figs. Um, that number that I round to is based on the numbers going into the problem. This guy has three sig figs, and this guy has four sig figs. So I will round my answer to whoever has the least number of sig figs. So I will stop writing my answer after three sig figs and round here. And so my answer is 105. Of course, you're always going to remember to put your unit. It is a meter squared for that unit. Here's another example. I've got these two dimensions that I have to multiply to get the area of my room. My calculator is going to spit out that those multiplied together is 1339.38. I wouldn't present all those digits. This one is to three sig figs. This one is to four sig figs. So I'm going to round my answer to three sig figs. I would not simply report 134, the 9 makes that 3 go up to 4, but instead I would report 130 or 1,340. 1,339.38 does not round to 134, it rounds to 1,340. There are my three sig figs. Again, remember your units, this is feet squared. One last example, I have these two dimensions to multiply together. I punch them in my calculator and it spits out 0 .006384. I'm going to round two. This guy has three sig figs. That's a three. This guy has two sig figs. So I will round my answer to two sig figs. Remember these leading zeros are not significant. So there are the two sig figs. So I would round my answer to 0 .0064 uh, kilometers squared. I could also present that in scientific notation or as 6.4 times 10 to the minus 1, 2, 3 kilometers squared. Either way would be an appropriate answer to two sig figs. All right, when we're dividing numbers, the rules are exactly the same. As you divide values, you go back to the numbers that were divided, you count how many sig figs, and you round to whoever has the smallest number of sig figs.